Are, are you guys ready for this great story about an eighth grade dance I was in? All right, here we go. So I'm, I'm in, in eighth grade dance. I'm having fun. I see candy. I see food, pop. And there are balloons all over. Also a DJ playing music. I saw my friends, David and Steven, who I knew. They were dancing with their girlfriends. So I went over and I said, hey, could I hang out with you guys? Could I dance? We had a great time in a blast and we're booking all night. When Deidre comes through those two doors, I'm like, she was tall, muscular, an athlete, really tall. She's like, Matthew, what are you doing? I'm, I'm dancing with my friends, I'm having a, a good time. And he's like, well, Matthew, I don't like you. And you are funny looking. I'm like, well, that's not, that's not my fault. She helps me up. She pushes me down really hard. I was crying and I was yelling. When Eleanor saw me crying, she was sitting with me. And she's like, Matthew, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm a little emotional because Deidre threw me on the ground. And Eleanor picks me, me up, helps me up. And then Eleanor came with me and talked to, to Deidre. I was truly, truly scared of Deidre. Eleanor did all the talking. And, and Eleanor said, Deidre, why will you make fun of Matthew? And threw him on the ground. Deidre said, I don't like him because I, I, don't, I don't respect him. And, he, and he's funny looking. But then Eleanor says, well, that's not what I do. And you know what? S screw you, Deidre. Eleanor takes my hand on the dance floor. Just like Matthew. Can I just dance? I'm like, sure, why not? I wish they played Grace Wine, but it was, it was Blue Moon. It was, it, it was a great time to dance to. We danced. And I said, Eleanor, thanks. And, and she's like, no problem. At that very moment, the dance was over. And then, here's what happened, guys. Picture this. She kissed me. It was my first focus it felt amazing like oh my god did that actually happen so my dad picks me up from the dance and, and I go in the car and, and my dad said Matt how's the, how's the dance I'm like it was great dad I had my first slow kiss and my very slow dance it was awesome and, and there was stuff I didn't want to tell my parents when we were going home so we got home it was bedtime I'm like, mom and dad, there's something I, I need to tell you. Here's what, here's what happened. When I was at a dance, a student, uh, a, a, a person who I knew named Deidre, she made fun of me about, my, about how, how I looked, how I dressed. She pushed me on the ground. And the group, David and Steven, did not say anything to no one or to her. And then... My, and my parents said, Matt, she's a jerk. Mom, Dad, she's a mega jerk. But they told me, never give up on myself and keep my, my dreams alive. So I did, and I overcome it. When I started high school, it felt amazing. I was alive. And I, and I wasn't the little boy that I was in, in eighth grade. I grew up. And I see a group of my friends and they came up to me and said, hey, Matthew, we, we want to apologize of what happened to you in, in, in eighth grade. We're not proud of us, what we did, but we should have done something to help you. I'm like, thank you for your apology. And David's like, dude, Matthew, I know you from first grade. We play soccer together. You, me, and, and Steven, we're like your brothers, man. Really good friends. And so after school ended, I'm walking out, I'm walking out the stores with my friends going home going to the bus. Deidre comes up and saying, hey Matt, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, sure, what's up? Deidre said, Matthew, I just want to apologize what I did in eighth grade. 
I'm not proud of what I did. Why are you here with us? We're going to, uh, we're going to DQ to have ice cream. And I, I, and I came with them. We're playing football, catching. It felt amazing. So 10 years later, it was my high school or new one. Oh my God, I was so nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I'm like, my stomach was hurting because I was so nervous. When I went in, in those doors, to the bar, the bar had drinks, everything. They were talking, hanging out. And then, go in. And I'm hearing my friend, Deidre, saying, Matthew, come on, man. Let's go have some drinks. I got my first drink. It was a, a margarita. I didn't have to pay for anything. They paid for me. I see my friends. And, and it said, L train! La Chapelle! What's up, man? I'm like, what's up, guys? But at that very moment, everything came to place. I, I, I felt like I was part of, of a group. So when I started eighth grade in, in high school, I knew I was different. I just didn't, I just didn't know how to re react to it. I had a, uh, an extra chromosome that I didn't understand. And I didn't know that I had Down syndrome. Well, I went through every moment. I was weak. I couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I had to use sound language. I had things on my legs. It felt like hell. I was in hell. But the reason why I'm talking now is I never stopped talking. And that's how I got a speech, a speech therapist helping me to talk. I would never give up on myself. My whole my dreams, I would never stop dancing because I'm a dancing machine and I'm an actor with Down syndrome. If that won't stop me, I would never stop. Dancing!